Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, we're going to solve some word problems that involve mass and volume. To begin with, what does mass and volume measure? Mass is how much matter is in an object. The larger the mass, the heavier the object will be. This car has a larger mass than a bicycle. In the metric system, whenever you see gram, then you know that mass is being measured. Volume is a measure of how much space an object takes up. This elephant takes up a lot of space and has a larger volume than this dog. Whenever you see the word leader, you know that volume is being measured. So let's get started with some word problems. Sarah has three kilograms of flour and buys another two kilograms. How many kilograms of flour does Sarah have in total? Well, first, what are they measuring? Well, I see grams, so I know that we're measuring mass. She starts with three kilograms, and we're going to add another two kilograms. So she has five kilograms in total. A jug contains five liters of juice. After serving one liter in four cups at a party, how much juice is left in the jug? Well, first, what are we measuring? Well, liters is our clue and tells us that we're measuring volume. Next, we began with five liters, but we have served four cups and we've poured in one liter. So let's go four times one, and this will tell us how much of the juice we have poured out. So 1 times 4 is 4. So now let's take our original amount, 5 liters, and subtract 4 from it, and that gives us 1 liter is left in the jug. A bottle holds 4 liters of water. John has 6 of these bottles filled up with water. How much water does John have? Well, first, what are we measuring? Well, I see liters, and remember, liters is your clue that we're measuring volume. Next, we have six bottles, and each bottle can hold up to four liters of water. So we're going to go six times four, which is 24. So John has 24 liters of water in total. A bag of rice weighs 12 kilograms. If the rice is packed into three equal-sized bags, how many kilograms of rice will be in each bag? Well, first, what are we measuring? I see grams, so we are measuring mass. Next, I start with 12 kilograms, and I'm going to divide this into three equal-sized bags. So if I take 12 divided by 3, that gives me 4 kilograms. So each bag, there's three of them, will hold 4 kilograms of rice. Adam has 8 packages of flour, and each package is 2 kilograms. If he needs to divide the total amount of flour into 4 bags, how much will be in each bag? Let's first figure out what are we measuring. I see grams, so I know it's mass. Next, Let's figure out how much in total does Adam have in flour. We have eight packages, and each package has two kilograms. So let's multiply eight times two, and that will give, you, give us the total amount, which is 16. Now we need to divide it into four bags. So we can take 16 and divide this by 4, because we have 4 bags, and that equals 4. So each bag will get 4 kilograms of flour. 